then first person adam and eve related to that man women cattle we understood now we are coming to the second idea unit that is love the krishna what is love difficult to define difficult to define we'll try to understand not philosophically not biologically but vocabulary based means literary way this is uh, one of the word for love that is philos anywhere we are philosophy philanthropy like that all words will come philos means love that is greek root another uh, root is there and uh, just will try to understand the sequence once any person man or woman are becoming adult once they will become adult then they will get attraction toward an opposite sex and based on that love will happen or another sequence you can find liking caring and it will go to love affection attraction and adoration venus and cupid that is roman god for love venus is a one planet now it is a symbolic form of planet but earlier in ancient time it was a roman god cupid is also roman god after then another is greek god of that is little you can say erotic erotic love or you can say sexual love that is eros based on that only word has come erotic and who are writing the uh, literature related to sexual love that is called erotic literature after then uh, krishna and here missed krishna hindu god of love 16283 gopis was there but he has done marriage out of that out of that and still he was able to manage now just we'll try to understand all these are the god this is this is your uh, this god venus your roman god and afterwards this is your eros and here we can look this hindu philosophy whatever we are following this is krishna she is radha radha never married to krishna but still we are still we are we, uh, their relation we are we are feeling or we are uh, following we are believing it is a sacred relation krishna and radha relation although it was not a relation not converted to marriage but still we are feeling it is a sacred relation because based on the love it is a symbolic form of love it is just opposite of the rama rama was only one lady one marriage he has done and if uh, his somebody has taken his wife he has uh, he has done the ramayana and taken back what he has not gone to the another lady and krishna was totally different both are contrasting one was believing on the marriage marriage is a one of the social system it is with only one person one soul with another soul and love is a very open means love is a not limited to any one person or any one thing love is a infinite this philosophical meaning is what krishna is giving me message love is infinite you can't make it very finite it will be only with one person it will be only with one thing no it is infinite depends on our perspective of thinking it can go 